From the Ender Groove in Mains Production Team Studios in the Netherlands, my name is Mixmaster G and welcome to this tutorial. My mission is not to sell you as many apps as I can, no, my mission is to educate and teach you about collection management and conversion for DJs, so you save yourself more time for the fun and creative part of being a DJ. This quick tutorial is about converting from Tractor to Recordbox. And when I say Recordbox, I mean Recordbox the app, but it can also be a Recordbox XML, which is going to be converted to Serato, Algorithms DJ or whatever you want. Which means this is the first step if you want to go from Tractor to Serato as well. If you just downloaded the app and you never used it before, then this is the tutorial you want to watch. Important to know that the DJ conversion utility is by default led up by a selection of playlists and folders you make. And in order to make this possible, there is a step you need to do in Tractor before you can use the DJ conversion utility. Let me take you to the screen and show you that step. Here we are in Tractor and as you can see there are some playlists and folders here with some tracks in it. And simply click on the track collection at the upper top of the left column. Left click or press the control key while you press the right mouse button. So you get this pull down menu and select export the collection from this menu. You will be presented with a dialog box. It's important to uncheck this box, copy tracks to destination. Otherwise you will run out of this capacity pretty quickly. And you can leave everything else default because then the DJ conversion utility automatically finds it. So just click OK and you are true. At this stage you can quit Tractor or you can hide it, whatever you want. It can stay active. but. You can also quit it if you want to. At this stage it's safe to go to the application folder and double click the DJ conversion utility. And we tell it we want to go from Tractor. So click the Tractor icon there. As you can see the source NML file is already selected automatically. This is the NML file we just exported in Tractor. And you can leave everything else default. Each setting you see right here has a tooltip. If you hover your mouse over it, it will tell you what it does. For now we just start the conversion and we are presented with a selection list. In this list you decide which playlist or playlists or selection of playlists is going to be converted from Tractor to Recordbox XML. If you hover your mouse right here over the yellow area, you will get a list of all the available keyboard shortcuts. You can make non-continuous selections by holding the command key. You can command A and select everything. You can command D and deselect everything, whatever you want. I recommend if this is the first time you use the DJ conversion utility to just select one single playlist and convert that single playlist to get a hang of how things work and maybe tweak the settings a little bit so you get the expected results. There is no need to convert an entire collection all at once. All it will do is make a very big Recordbox XML which Recordbox has a hard time to import. Just do it incremental which will be much more time efficient. And in case you make a wrong setting, it's easier to fix and quicker to fix. I go for the bangers playlist right here. I select it and I press OK. So the DJ Converse Utility can do its work. The moment you see this dialog box appear, the DJ Converse Utility is true. If your final conversion target is not Recordbox, then you are now at the point where you can quit the tutorial. The DJ Conversion Utility created a Recordbox XML and my tools will automatically find that particular Recordbox XML as a source for further conversions. So if you want to go to Tractor, Serato, Algorithms, DJ, even Denim Prime using the Denim Conversion Utility, you are set and ready to go. If you want to go to Recordbox, then Please watch the rest of the tutorial. By the way, you don't need to have the full 
paid version of Rekordbox, the free preparation version of Rekordbox will suffice and that also enables you to create CDJ USBs in case you need them. If you are in a hurry and you need to go from A to B, then this is the part where you can quit if your final destination is not Rekordbox. The DJ conversion utility automatically starts Rekordbox 5.6.0 and I hear you think, hey Mixmaster G, why not the latest version? That is because there is a bug in all versions past 5.6.1 and that bug is fully explained in the link above my head. Suffice to say, right now, use Recordbox 5.6.0 to import XML data and use the latest version of Recordbox for everything else. You can have them both together on your system. The first thing you want to do is to check the Recordbox preferences. And we go to the analysis preferences first. Make sure they look like this. BPM, grid key and phrase analysis are set off and the auto analysis is enabled. The next step is to look at the Recordbox XML. The Recordbox XML is the file the DJ conversion utility produced and is used to import information into Recordbox. And automatically that Recordbox XML is set by the DJ conversion utility to the correct file which you can see right there. Finally, make sure that you can see the Recordbox XML and you do that in the view pane under layout. Check the Recordbox XML checkbox. That's all you need to do in the settings. Let's open the Recordbox XML part right there. Press the control key and click on playlists or left click playlists and select import playlists. You do this from the top level of all the playlists, so not any sub level, just the top level. And as you can see right here, the playlists have been imported and if you look under the playlist you can see that all our tracks are there with the settings as were specified by the DJ conversion utility. Uh, there is nothing more to it. This is your record box collection and you can just load a track in it. And you will see that that track has cues, loops and everything else. There is much more possible with this conversion. There are different selection methods. But this is the basis. If you want to see everything else, go inside the YouTube channel. There are plenty of tutorials there. And I'm more than happy to explain to you what else you can do. Mixmaster G signing off.